A few weeks ago, I built this crystal oscillator, one megahertz, and I like to experiment with all kinds of stuff, and I thought, I wonder what would happen if I built another one megahertz crystal oscillator right beside the first one. And I know uh, already that uh, even though they're both crystal controlled, they're not going to be exactly the same. So I went ahead and built this and here is the build for it. You can see the two crystals. They're as identical as I can make them except for the crystal. And let's see what happens. Okay. I'm going to use this radio here, this little AM radio. It's pretty well tuned to one megahertz. Both transmitters are running. And let's see what we get here. That's both transmitters mixing on the antenna. And what we're hearing is the difference. Let me unplug one. And we're just picking up one. There's no modulation. So let me put this back on. There we go. So we've got, what we're hearing is the difference here. All right, here's the first oscillator, the one on the left. Whoops, there we go. Gosh darn it, let's get it on there. There we go. So, yeah, it looks like uh, 1 meg.001. And here is the second oscillator. Pretty close. So it looks like it's 999.99. What we saw in that video was the left oscillator is putting out 1000.01 kilohertz and the right oscillator is putting out 999.99 kilohertz. And if we subtract the two, we get dot zero two kilohertz or 20 cycles. Let's see if we can't use that radio and measure uh, this directly. And I'm going to try and measure this by using this little radio here and I'm going to put the counter across the 
audio here. Let's see here. close to what we figured. So these two crystals are 20 hertz apart. That's pretty close, but I find it really interesting that we could use a radio to directly see that with a frequency counter. Thanks for watching this experiment.